Okay, so in my other video I made some mistakes, so I'm going to correct my mistakes. Uh, I happen to find an instruction manual. It's not exactly for this machine, but it's for a machine that's close enough that I can use this, so I'm going to scan all of this. Um, but, reading it, showing me how to do all of this stuff, this piece here is in is down here on my machine. So this is where the winder is. And this piece I have but I haven't attached it properly yet. So just imagine. Uh, so there's some instructions on how to thread it and everything and I gave you some backwards instructions that work but they're backwards. So we'll just go over this. So you've got your barbell bobbin, um, pull that out, put it in, unhook here so that when you do this, this doesn't move. Let's see, that might unhook it, it doesn't move. So because this isn't very tight, um, I don't, uh, I have to kind of push on this a little bit to get it going. So, put your thread coming from the back, bring it over here and around this, and then down. And of course, if you have the little winder thingy, you'll run it through there. Tie a little knot at the end of this. And then, if you have the thingy, it'll hold it here for you. But I don't have it. Sometimes that will happen too. It's a good way to get started too. Okay. So spin toward you. You want to make sure you've got tension on it. Make sure that it's nice and tight. If it stops or if it gums up and it gets loose, stop and pull it apart and go back. Because if you get a knot in there or it's too loose or something, it'll come apart right in the middle of your sewing and that can mess you up. So just get how much you want. I don't need that much of this color. Okay. And then, we gotta hook that back up. Pull the bobbin out. The color. All right. So this is the part where it's different. Make sure hold the bobbin like this. The thread is going over this way. Okay. Put it in. Put your finger on the end. Go like this. So it gets underneath there, and then pull up. And you'll see what happens as it's coming through there now. So there's a slit. It goes down just like this. And then back up. And I can show you. So this is one that doesn't have this outer piece on it. So what you can see is that you're pulling the thread down like this, and then up into here, into this little spot, right there. And then this part is covered. So it should look like this. Your thread is coming up here. There's a little notch right there. And then there's a little curved piece right here, so you just pop that in, and just kind of tuck the end of the thread under. It doesn't matter, you know, you don't want too much obviously because it'll get tangled, but you just want it hanging off the front in there like that. Be careful when you're sliding this back in, as you can see you're going to get some creases here. You want to take care of the wood, so just be careful when you're sliding this in that you're not sliding it all over the place and scratching everything up. So, now 
got this started the same way. It goes from here this way, down. And you want to get it inside the groove here, underneath. And over here there's a little wire. So you want to put it in the wire. There's a tiny little lip right here. So you want to make sure that the wire is on it. You'll know when it's not because it will, oh, it's, it won't go down. But it'll hang down here and you don't want it to. It should be parallel to the desk. So pull that up, run it through here. And then there's a little hook, it's really hard to see, but you just kind of lay this flat right here and slide it over. And again, you gotta be careful because you're gonna wear. And then, so it'll automatically just pop right inside. So it's inside and it's nice and flat. And then there's one more tuck right there. Okay, and you wanna make sure that your uh, thing is all the way up. And then, this needle threads from left to right. Modern machines thread from front to back, so just a matter of what you get used to. So pull that, make sure it's in the back. Then you turn the handle toward you. Pull that up. And then you can use a pin or something, a piece of fabric, whatever you want kind of straighten that out so that you have two, you have your bottom thread and your top thread coming out. Uh, tension is difficult. There's a bunch of little knobs on here I need to read the book some more about. So uh, all you have to do is make sure that your tension from your bottom and the top are about the same. So just give them a tug. If one of them feels too tight, loosen it up. If it feels too loose, tighten it up. Whatever. And then, I want to get started. You just line up your stuff. Oops. And make sure that's tucked back, because if you're not, it will get tangled. Turn the wheel toward you. Let it get started. Sometimes you might need a little a couple of little starts. Make sure that everything's getting on the presser feet. So if ever you get tangled or something starts to stick, just stop. And the nice thing about these machines is you can really get it going and then you can just stop. So there you go. So, and then when you're done, always pull to the back, away from you, and leave some of the thread. So there you go.